Blue Sun Palace est le premier long métrage de la réalisatrice Constance Tsang, nouvelle étoile du cinéma indépendant américain. On this fifth day of the competition, we're heading to Queens, nestled in the intimacy of a trio of characters who moved us deeply. Blue Sun Palace is Constance Tsang's first feature film, a rising star of American independent cinema. C'est dans le tout petit périmètre d'un salon de massage que la réalisatrice expose un monde et des mots invisibles et rend tangibles les blessures physiques et morales des personnages qu'elle met en scène dans leur rugueux quotidien. In the tiny confines of a massage parlor, the director displays an invisible world and invisible woes, making the characters' physical and moral wounds pal palpable as she directs them through their rough daily routine. Au casting de ce drame sans phare, on découvre non seulement deux comédiennes fabuleuses, Ukashi et Shu Haipeng, mais on retrouve aussi avec émotion Lee Kang Cheng, acteur fétiche des films de Tsai Ming Yang. Not only does the cast of this unadorned drama introduce us to two wonderful actresses, Wu Keshi and um, Shu Haipeng, but we're moved to see Lee Kang Cheng again, Tsai Ming Yang's favorite actor. Merci d'accueillir la belle équipe de Blue Sun Palace, la réalisatrice Constance Tsang, accompagnée de la comédienne Yi Kashi, de la comédienne Yi Kang Tsang, de la comédienne Shu Haipeng, de la productrice Sally Sikinjo et le producteur Federasi et Tony Yang. Bienvenue dans le club. Thank you, Ava, Remy, and your team at Samandula Critique. We are so honored to be here and to be a part of your incredible selection. I was telling Ava earlier, I think every time I look at her, I just want to cry. <laughs> yes. um, but it's you know an honor to share so much of this film's journey with you as well. So thank you for being here today and for our first screening. Um, whew, okay. Um, this film is very personal to me. We shot it in my hometown of Flushing, New York, where I grew up. Without the involvement of the Chinese community across Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn, this film would not be possible. A little bit about this film. A lot of it has to do with the way people contend with grieving, the loss of loved ones, relationships, but also grieving the loss of homeland. It's a delicate subject matter for me, so I just want to quickly thank my team on the stage, as well as our crew, and our actors who treated it with the same amount of love from the beginning to now here. Hi, my name is Eli, I'm one of the producers on the film, and while we're here at Cannes, um, we just want to thank the tremendous crew that we had with us, uh, who were with us from day one, in really tight spaces, on top of each other, sweating in the heat, but really pouring their soul. Every day that we showed up to set felt like a blessing, um, and there's a few people I just want to uh, shout out. I'm going to look at my phone so I don't forget anyone. Um, many of them will be here tonight, but uh, Norm Lee, our cinematographer, Nabir Khan, our co-producer, Lu Zhang, associate producer, <laughs> Stephen Wang, our production designer, Caitlin Carr, editor, Sam Giano, our composer, Jeff Strasser, our sound mixer, and Marta Kruanis, our co-producer. We couldn't have done it without you. We love you guys so much. It's, all the love is on the screen, and we're so blessed. Hi, I'm Sally. I'm one of your other producers. Um, I just want to echo what Connie said. This film wouldn't have happened if we didn't get the collaboration we did with the Morgan community in New York City. A lot of these businesses had never let a production shoot in their space before. A lot of these businesses, we were the last to shoot before they retired. So we feel very lucky and humbled that um, that community was so vulnerable with us. And uh, again, that love really shows on screen. So. <coughs> Yeah, thank you, enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Yang, I'm one of the other producers. Um, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to two of our executive producers slash investors who came out here to the festival with us. Um, as you know, independent films are exceptionally hard to make even in the best of times, and we could not have made Blue Sun Palace without their steadfast support and their belief in our film. Additionally, we'd also like to thank our other incredible partners, WME and Sharats. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.